with the school board meeting. Uh, please note that all board members are here and I invite you to stand for the pledge. signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? All right, we have one action item and that is resolution of the board regarding wage payments during an emergency school closure. Ms. Geltmaker? Thank you, board. The reason for this emergency board meeting, unfortunately, is due to the COVID-19 or coronavirus situation that we're having to deal with as all of the state, nation, and um, the world is dealing with. As a result, superintendent is asking for the board to approve a resolution. This resolution will allow the board to pay our employees during closure of our buildings, during e-learning or waiver of our school days. Um, this resolution will allow our superintendent to close our schools, district offices, implement e-learning, or dismiss employees early. Uh, during this pandemic emergency closure, we may reduce hours or direct employees not to report to work. And during this time, obviously, employees under normal circumstances would not be paid. This resolution would allow us to pay these employees during this time. And that uh, continuing this pay would allow employees to maintain morale, reduce turnover, and ensuring continuity of staffing when school does open. Continuing the wages to these employees would apply, would apply to pandemic-related emergency closure, closures only and would not apply to any absences that they would have for their own um, health-related issues. And I ask that the board approve this resolution. Thank you. Madam President, I move that we approve the resolution to pay the wage payments during this emergency school closure. Thank you, Ms. Perkins. Do you have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Hawkins. Um, any questions I, or discussion? Yes, I do. What is meant uh, when you say, uh, I think I called it on the last portion of your statement. If you say reduced hours, you would determine by them having to leave early for some reason, or how, how would you determine that? I mean, So some of our groups in our schools are not reporting at all because there are no students in our school buildings. Right. Other groups, um, such as in our uh, auxiliary services, transportation department, here in our administration building, um, will be working on a reduced schedule to help flatten the curve, social distancing, and so in an attempt to help um, those situations, we will be working on a reduced schedule, and uh, we don't want to punish them when the other groups that are not in the schools are not work, uh, are being paid for not working. So those are the employee groups that will be working on a reduced schedule. So they'll still be reporting. Um, these are typically referred to as our essential employees. So for example, here in our office, uh, cabinet level, uh, payroll, human resources, business office, um, technology, uh, some of our special populations. I don't wanna leave anybody out, but uh, those are employees who currently are reporting they're year-round employees, um, but at this point, we've decided that uh, we do need to limit their hours so that they will be working on a reduced schedule, reduced hour schedule. So they. Too but, but it doesn't affect their pay. Correct. Okay. Yes. You know when you so say reduce their hours, I we're know. reducing their okay. hours. That's determined but by, pay, but by the supervisor. Okay. Okay. Now the other question I have is, what's well, my question? One of my concerns is that. Uh, in, in some positions, and I'll just use one of the bus, a bus driver that has five hours, then they have midday. They should be 
paid for what they're currently being paid and that not be reduced. Okay? Everybody agree with that? Yeah, if they okay. would get five hours, they'd still get five hours, right? No, they, they, they would get, if they would be eight, they could be seven, they could be uh, five, yeah, seven or six. Okay? But whatever they were getting paid, I think they should get paid because if not, we would be discriminating discriminating against those employees because that's what they were, were working before they were told they were not to come in. And what's the board approves this resolution? We'll go back to cabinet and we'll discuss what um, they've been receiving. I don't know, does that fluctuate perhaps their base and their middays? The current collective bargaining agreement says that mid is a minimum of two hours. Their so base what, is five and their minimum of two. So basically whatever they were getting paid, they should continue to receive that. In other words, say, well, everybody gets an hour or two hours. That, that, that to me, doesn't wash. Uh, so we would be cutting their checks because they do that on a daily basis. And now going go to the cafeteria uh, employee, if that person, <coughs> excuse me, if that person was, let's say, regularly a three or four person and went to a six hour position and they were doing that uh, until that was filled, we should pay them for that six hours instead of three or four hours. Would y'all not agree to that? I don't understand. Okay, I'm a three hour cafeteria employee and now we have a vacancy. I moved up to a six hour to cover that. But now, we're not having school, but I was paid for six hours. So why should I go back to my three hours when I'm filling that position? I'm just making sure, I, you know, because okay. yeah, you're in that position. position. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in that, right. I don't want a phone call to say, well, I'm getting cut. Yeah. Uh, I think it, it should be an open. I mean, so I'm trying to I think that's our purpose here. Is to make sure. Make sure everybody's Yeah. Right. All right. I just want, want to be clear. Yep. I'm good with mine. Thank you. Um, was it our? Was it our? Uh, website or, or email that said that some of our bus employees were going to come in to do some bus cleaning or did I see that on another site? No, it's on okay. Thursday. Okay. My bus drivers are going to report on Thursday okay. to disinfect buses and clean the buses. And then the other nine days, currently the other nine days would be, if this resolution is adopted, would be paid at their, as Dr. Clayton said. Would be okay. In other words, if they clean the bus, I'm going to do a more hand. They still get paid for the full time. Yeah. Yes. Chair, we providing the, the cleaning materials so we know that they're all consistent. Yes, you know, we'll have stations and we'll prepare right. all that in advance. So that applies to the contract drivers also? Not the contract drivers, like that have their report. We'll honor, their, we'll honor that contract right. uh, obligation. Okay. But they will be told to sterilize their buses. Yes. Thank you. Are we doing the same thing for food services? <coughs> are our kitchens being cleaned by any of our employees, or what are we doing? Um, currently, we're not right now, just solely because we're working on our food service right at the moment. But when they, when the time comes for them to report back, we'll probably have a day for them to report back to thoroughly clean. But it is being done in the places that we're providing food service right now. It, is, it was done this morning when they reported to work. Did we have very many people show up? We served about 300 meals a day. Oh, wow. That's great. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? I want to thank you all, all for being here. So we can do this. Um, okay. Um, all those in favor of the resolution of the board regarding wage payments during emergency school closure, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay. And can I have a motion for adjournment, please? Move to adjourn. Thank you. Second. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. aye. All those opposed?